Okay, that's a quick video answer to the question from a Facebook how to DaVinci Resolve, uh, which is all about the, uh, how to make infinite zoom inside of Fusion tab in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, that's a screenshot of a video that author made in After Effects, and I just want to recreate the same effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I already cut out the TV, that's the initial frame, that's the widest frame in the video, that's the last frame, essentially. Uh, I just cut out TV with the polygon tool, uh, nice and easy. Now what we need to do is to go, hit a transform, add a merge node, transform goes to the background of a merge, whatever you hit first goes to the background. Then our video clip goes to the foreground. And now in transform, we can scale it down and we can move it to about, oh, I hate when it's doing that, to about here. So just to have round numbers, we'll do that 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.7. Six. I think that looks pretty close and now we can just copy and paste and output of merge goes to the input of the transform and output of our media in goes to the foreground of merge I just make this more visible and we can paste as many of them as we need for our video. I'll just make them. Um, to speed it up we can call them four. Paste all four of them. And that's that's it. Now, uh, what you will notice is that if you just try to zoom in on this merge, all our inner files are pixelated. That's because merge have a resolution, if you can see here, of whatever is on the background. And that's our essentially initial, this image goes to this merge and so on. But if you add another transform, and you scale up, well, let's preview this, and you scale up on this transform, your resolution is like an initial file. It doesn't change. Uh, so I'm going to use this one. I'm going to just reset it real quick. Uh, I found it easiest, I guess, to just move the pivot point roughly where our last TV is, around here. Now we can scale up quite significantly, about 70, and, oh, probably more, what have I done? Probably more, around here, and maybe even 35. That's about how the first shot in the video looked. Uh, and that's it. Uh, all we need to do now is to animate the scale of this transform. Hit a keep frame on the frame 0, go the last frame, set a keep frame on that. And that's basically it. Oh no, actually not. Uh, if you play that back, you will notice that it speeds up significantly towards the end. I'm not sure about the nature of this effect, but the workaround I found is to go to Spline Editor, show on Selected Tool, so Transform, hit that, go, go to last keyframe, hit Shift F, and ease it in up to 100. And, oh, and is out to zero. And now it is 
still not the same is out zero and now we have a consistent move across the whole thing that's basically it in order to have something on the very first screen like here oh, actually we're well, we not gonna yeah well uh, we can go here I prepped uh, a bit of a text we can merge that here this merge in here uh, hit control C and that's it that's our first image and so on That's how you make an infinite zoom. Thank you for watching.